Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's actually Tuesday afternoon and I'm here to finish my meetup video, video guys. Uh, my original plan was to finish it on Sunday to show you what I got and tell you a little bit about the meetup. Uh, but I was feeling like I was uh, coming down with something. It's always like that when I go to huge public spaces like we went to on Saturday. We went to fashion outlet in of Chicago, which is a big mall. And there, imagine Chicago shopping mall of any kind and Saturday, the weekend afternoon. It was packed. So uh, on Sunday, I was kind of recuperating. I do myself with cordyceps as usual, my immunity support. And uh, I just, I was just chilling. And yesterday I was super busy, guys, so I decided that I would come uh, back today and just talk to you a little bit about the meetup. I have some footage, as you could see, it's uh, just really short. I had more. I was actually ta like uh, taking or taping a little bit of uh, the group meetup at the tables when uh, we were just uh, chatting and then congratulating uh, Kylie and uh, which is a member of our group and our friend and um, I'm going to link Kylie's channel down um, below guys so if uh, you you want to and if you would be so kind please go give her some love it was her birthday and this was her birthday meetup uh, I told you about this meetup a few times on my channel and original location was zoo. We were supposed to go to zoo, but the weather uh, was just not cooperating. The, they were, as I said um, at the beginning, uh, there were supposed to be the storms. And uh, I don't know if there were storms there or not, but we just didn't want to risk it. So we went to the mall and I was... Uh, uh, taping some uh, footage but then in the end I, and I always ask I um, most of people uh, I knew and they were like long time members of the group and I already know that they're fine being on camera and their faces be on social media but they were some minors also in a picture later on I noticed and then uh, there was one lady uh, who didn't wish to be on a camera so I can't use that footage because it would be way too much editing and I would have to like cover her face and it was she was we were moving a lot and I don't know it's um uh, so I just decided not to use that footage and just come on here instead of that and tell you how that thing went and the whole shebang so we met and uh, it was just fun guys it's always fun to meet with other collectors uh, with other ladies uh, kindred spirits someone who is here for the dolls and for collecting and for the art some ladies are there for therapy but mostly I think our groups group is there for art for most part we have few artists uh, not all of the members were able to attend on Saturday. Uh, this Sunday, guys, we have a doll, doll show meetup. So I will have footage from there because it's just easy to film there. And I know the people there, usually 90% uh, of people are okay with me fil filming their boots. Uh, I really hope that some other ladies... Some other ladies and the members will be able to attend, so yeah but anyways guys uh so we uh were hanging around the tables uh at the mall at the food section or food court it's humongous guys and it's not it was my first time going there because i don't usually go to our outlet stores i do all most of my shopping online guys I, you know me i have two jobs and i'm just way too busy so uh, and really running around the stores I used to enjoy it when I was younger. Right now, I just dread it, honestly. With the tons of people here and it's always my my body, just my immunity really is not uh, the best. So I just, I constantly, and like it's always on purpose. People are coughing and sneezing right next to you. I don't know what's up with that. I'm not covering their mouths and then, yeah, and the traffic and the parking, it's just the whole thing. But I have to tell you, I really had a great time on Saturday. 
it was really the, the mall was big it was clean it's a new mall even the bathrooms were super clean you know me and my OCD like cleanliness obsession and also we were able to find fabulous spot both time at the beginning and in the end when we went to eat we could uh, put the tables together and we could hang we were hanging there uh, for quite some time uh, then Kylie opened uh, the gift from us who brought the gift and she also gave us a party favor like little uh, goodie bags we call it but uh, so here is mine I'm going to show you what she got me and this was the card I'm not going to um, show you what she wrote but look at this little kitten how cute is, is this baby and I got this cute toy it's Laura Ashley dog toy squeaker and actually I uh, Ashley said uh, um, yeah it's Laura Ashley but Kylie said that this I can uh, it's up to me to decide if I want to use this for my babies as a prop you know me I'm a dog lady official dog lady I'm I'm super into dogs guys um, all animals and animal rescue that's my big thing but especially dogs so either for my babies or for Charlie so I'm going to look at that this is a beautiful beautiful little and it it is squeaky Wait, here's Charlie yeah that's your it's your puppy here and uh, also this little bag it had candy now it has only one left down milk chocolate so I'm going to mention that later so that was uh, uh, I told Kylie she absolutely did not have to spend the money on the goodie bags but everybody got something personalized that's where I wanted to get in uh, with these guys every one of us we got something different uh something personalized either for a favorite baby of ours of course charlie is my favorite baby so uh, i got this so that was fun and then we went to rome we uh went to several stores as you could see i was trying to film something but as i said i was really i had to really downsize uh, the size of my footage first of all i wasn't filming as i usually uh film I just wanted to have fun guys you know it's kind of cool uh, to go around and film and uh, post the videos but then you're not really interacting with others because you still you have to go around and you have to film and you have to show people on camera all the while the rest of the group is having fun so uh, this time I told myself you know what it's Kylie's birthday and I always run around with camera and uh, bugging people and I just everybody was having so much so much so much fun and I didn't want to be pe people feel uncomfortable I mean the ladies are used to me and my camera because there's few youtubers in our group but you know sometimes enough is enough not not uh, I, I I understand that so I was like okay I will just show you a little bit of goodies, some uh, clothing and some um, toys and um, that's, that was the it guys. But as I said, we have a doll show so I will, uh, next meetup I will film more. But we have little Julian here and he, I want to show you his outfit. He was wearing this uh, thin linen bubble romper outfit and it came with a blouse and I paired it with little Pooh Bear booties <laughs> look at him and this baby oh my gosh uh, he was a hit guys and I have this funny story that happened you know me uh, everyone who has been following me for a certain time uh, you know I said it a million times I'm, I'm very skittish collector my first outings were super stressful for me not that I'm embarrassed for this hobby but um a dumbo me my very first outing was around my neighborhood my own street okay and even though i was waiting for the best time and everything you know how that went it was craziness i got caught about uh several neighbors one in particular and then so i was kind of like scarred after this one so first meetups I strictly was covering the stroller you would not see me um, walking around cashier or the store with my stroller uncovered or the baby 
nowadays I feel more comfortable, especially I think taking him was a smart choice because he's a sleeper and uh, he's a newborn and it's just smaller babies, they get lost. I have a stroller, I don't have a um, car seat on a base, I, I actually purchased stroller last year. So uh, the whole bassinet, he gets a little bit lost and I have, I, li I like the hood because hood is extended. I will show you. I was actually thinking about the detailed video of that thing because few people asked me. But the, uh, the hood you can extend. So it's, uh, sometimes it basically almost covers him. So I was walking, I, I wasn't covering the, the stroller. And when I went to order my food, guys, that was the first time that people were like kind of saying, oh, he's, he's so sweet and look at, look at the baby. Who, oh, he's sleeping through all the rokos because there, there was like, really like rokos. And uh, people just basically just walking around and saying, oh, he's so adorable, adorable. But then uh, we went to Nordstrom Rack and everybody left to Janie and Jag already. I was the last one because I was just, oh, goodness, you know me, I'm the takes me forever to decide on things. I didn't want to buy a lot of things, but then I bought some stuff. So I wanted to show you, I bought some stuff at Janie and Jack and also Nordstrom Rack. And so other, but I was trying, I was trying guys to be good and talk myself out of most of the items that I wanted to buy. But I was not all that super successful at Nordstrom Rack because they really had cute things and good deals. So uh, when I got to the cashiers, everybody already left and the line was crazy. So at first it took forever for me to get to the cashier. And then we started chatting and the lady was from Bosnia. So we started talking about that and, uh, you know, just the civil war in Yugoslavia. I, I told you that story on my channel before when we were caught up there uh, in... Um, Croatia uh, territory and it was just so we we're talking about that and she was asking me where I was from in Europe and then she looks over at my stroller guys and I I turn into stone okay guys as much as uh, I am confident about my babies I still think they I'm like I know they're dolls okay there's always this like teeny tiny feeling like there is no way that people kind of believe these are babies especially from the very close distance you can kind of pass uh, the baby the reborn as a real baby from the distance but when they're standing close I'm like okay there is no way even if they say uh, all these babies, they, uh, oh, I thought it's a baby. I think sometimes, uh, I know it's paranoid, okay? But sometimes I think, do, they, do people or general public, they just say it because they actually know it's a doll, but they think that maybe I'm dealing with something or I'm not is like emotionally stable maybe and they just don't want to hurt my feelings or upset me. I don't know. So the second guy, she looked at him over into the stroller, I seriously turned into stone and there was no one around me. None of the ladies were there, guys. I, there was the first time I was completely alone in the middle of a huge store with a line forming behind me, people looking and she was just looking like, really looking at him and, and she goes, oh, he's such a beautiful child and oh, he's such a good boy and uh, how old is he? And when she asked me how old is he, I just stuttered guys okay i know he's about like this baby is newborn to one month age he represents ramsey but i mean that moment when she asked me i was like what but thanks goodness i handled it i told her if she, he's he's five weeks i said and she goes well well please come back soon and bring him bring julian i would love for him i would love to see how he's growing how he grows, how he gets older. And I'm like, yeah, sure. That was the first time, guys, I didn't even admit this was the doll. It was just not the time and not the place. The lady was busy. It was Saturday, late afternoon. And 
there were a gazillion people standing behind me, you know, and, and you know how it goes when you are usually rushing and there's somebody just jabbering with a cashier. Uh, you want to just uh, scream at these people. So I, and so I know I, if the second I will admit this is a doll, I will have to say something. I will have to try to explain something. And first of all, it's, I don't want to rush through explanation. I want to really, if I'm going to spread the word about this hobby, I want to do it the right way. I don't want people to get impression that uh, we are emotionally unstable, we are mentally ill or whatever. I, when I talk about this hobby, I try to represent it as a col- from the collector's point and from my own point because I collect these babies just because I love dolls. I don't... Uh, need to go into me and not having kids and all that stuff. I mean, uh, even if I had kids, I said, as I said, guys, earlier, a few times on my channel, I would be collecting probably Reborns because I lo- just love the art. It's fascinating. So, so I didn't say anything, guys. Okay, that was the first time I just said, yes, I we, we will see you soon. And then with my wobbly knees, I exited the store. But I'm telling you, I was, I couldn't believe it. Like I was looking at this lady or this woman, this cashier, she was looking at him and I was uh, examining her face, looking for the signs of her maybe pretending or faking it. Like, oh, he's such a cute baby, kind of like knowing uh, secretly that this is it all absolutely nothing she really did think he was real guys so i was i was super excited about that and it was my first time i really felt empowered now <laughs> so that yeah that's the story so guys uh, i just wanted to share that because i i know for a lot of you who are venturing on a regular basis this is nothing new a lot of people are experiencing uh these reactions even though as i said sometimes when i had these reactions on when they happened to me or they i watched them on somebody else's channel or other ladies still there is this like small doubt especially with babies that are awake i still kind of can't believe that people would from this close distance they couldn't see the difference but uh, i'm telling you sometimes they they can't if there's uh if the stroller is bigger or the baby is kind of like in semi shade, and I'm telling you, the lady, there was absolutely in my mind, this is the first time in three and a half years, almost three and a half years, when I have absolutely no doubt that this woman thought this baby was real. So that's cool. And now to Nordstrom Rack Hall, oh, I'll, I'll just show you these things. They may be wrinkled, guys. No, the first uh, store that we went to was Carter's and there were a few things actually that I liked in Carter's a lot. But I, that was still, I was still trying to exercise some strong will. So I just got this pair of two pants and therefore Julian, this is, this looks like brown, but this is more like gray color, like super dark gray. And these were on sale for eight dollars and there was additional something because i paid what like six something with the tax so i got these these are super cute that was in carters only that's why i didn't even uh she was asking me if i wanted a bag but i i, I had bags so that's why i don't have a bag but that's uh i got that at carters and then uh, at Nordstrom Rack, I got this sweater. I already ripped off or I took off the price tag. This is by Baby Nordstrom. And it's a super soft little knit sweater. It's st- dark steel gray with teal bottom and mint. It's a really nice uh, color combo, guys. And it has a hood with pom-pom. It looks like little... See, this is so cute on him. I already put it, put him into it because it was getting chilly on Saturday and I, and I just wanted others to see. So uh, I got this sweater, a Nordstrom rack, and then 
I got these pants from Baby Bodern. I didn't ha even know that Nordstrom carried this brand. And I just love the print. That's why I got them. They have little teddy bears. It's like vintage toys print. So I got these pants and I thought they would be nice with some oatmeal sweater or even the bl blue sweater or any top of from this color scheme. And then I got these two pieces because, I, again, guys, I couldn't uh, decide which size to get. So I got one for Karolinka and one for Catherine. And these are baby bottom. Uh, they're the same style. And look at look at that. It's um, I don't know what are these like baby grow or dungarees with f feet attached, but it has a uh, kind of like shabby chic vintage rose print and pink stripes and little fuzzy bunny. And I thought my girls, my little sisters would look super cute. I know I usually don't buy double outfits, but uh, I couldn't decide. So I thought, okay, maybe I will try them. I'll try this on them and I will decide uh, if I want to return one. I will just return, but I won't probably because this is super nice quality, guys. It's very thick cotton and it's going to be great for, especially for fall and winter. So I got that at uh, Nordstrom's Rack and then I met with guys at Jenny and Jack. And once again, they packaged this so nicely. See, I didn't even unpack, I didn't touch anything because I just wanted to do it on a video. So I just got this little blouse onesie. I love these because as much as I love blouses, even on myself, I don't like when they get out of uh, the bottom part. So I got this and the little thing there for Karolinka. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's my haul from the meetup. Um, I hope you enjoyed a little footage and my goodies. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will be back with Karolinka later today or tomorrow, guys. I just need to go and edit this video. I hope... As I said, uh, I hope I will be able to talk to you tomorrow morning because I have um, more things and topics to talk about. And I want to show you a wonderful and super cute outfit that I have for Caroline Castle. Please stick around. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Until the next time. Bye.